Hi guys and welcome to another WP Forms video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well we've been putting this little form together, we've been adding features as we've been going along. We've got checkboxes and multiple choice and number sliders. Today let's add a bit of HTML code and you may wonder why you'd want to do that. Um, well perhaps you might want to direct your form fillers to a frequently asked questions page or something like that if they get stuck with one of the questions on your form. So let's go ahead and do that. WordPress form is amazingly easy to use. If you want to take it from a test drive you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. So let's go down to our forms. I'm going to hit the edit button and here's the form we've been building. I'm on the Add Fields tab over here. Let's slide down a little bit to HTML. There it is right there. And where do we want to put it? Let's put it over here. And as usual, you can just left click on it to edit the actual block itself. So I'll give it a label. Let's say for help. The, our FAQ section. Okay, and what do I actually want to do? Well, I'm going to sort of create a link, just a regular link. I'll try and turn it into something that looks a bit like a button that'll take our form fillers to uh, an FAQ page in a different tab because you don't want them to leave the form itself. So, first thing we need to do, we need to create a div. And this is not an HTML course, so have a look at some HTML videos if you're not sure how to write HTML. Um, and we need to close that div. And in between is where we want to put our actual code. And for me today, I want to put a button in there. So that's going to be an anchor tag, href. And where do we want the href to go? Well, I haven't actually got anywhere, so I guess I'll just get a link from a website page. So it's href equals and in between the two sets of inverted commas there is where you want to put your link. I'll just grab a quick link and plop it in there. Now as I said we don't want the visitors to actually leave the form itself. We want this to open in a new tab so they can just go back and continue completing the form. So we want to say target equals some more inverted commas and inside we want to say underscore blank that will open a new tab when they actually click on the link great so now what do we want our little link to say well let's open a bit of paragraph text you can have as much or as little as you want so I'm going to open a paragraph text to write what I want, I guess we'll just say FAQ section would be the easiest thing to write there, I'm sure. And close our paragraph tag. Now, just need to wrap this in the anchor tag. So we've opened our A tag there, just need to close it right there. And I'm sure you've noticed a closing tag for anything is just like the opening tag, but you've got a forward slash in front of whatever sort of tag it is. Now that's going to look pretty boring. It's going to work, but it's going to look pretty boring. So I will style it in a second. Let's just save it and I'll show you exactly what it's going to look like. I refresh this form now. There it is. It's a, just a bit of writing, but when they click on it, it'll take them to a new page in a new tab. So let's make it a little more interesting. Let's just style it a little bit. So let's go in there and in our actual paragraph text tab, let's add some style. I'm simply going to say style. equals 
open and close some inverted commas there or two sets of inverted commas and the style needs to go inside so we'll say background not going to put too much thought in this colon red and let's have the color of the actual writing itself white so we'll say color hashtag FFF which is white now between each attribute you need to put a semicolon so it can read the next one and that's just going to give it a plain red background with white writing but there'll be no padding or space between the writing and the background so let's add a bit of padding let's say padding first attribute is going to be top and bottom so I'll say 15 pixels top and bottom and let's say 25 pixels left and right and let's also make that text center align so it's in the middle so it looks more like a button so we'll say uh, semicolon text align colon center and we could almost make it capitalized if you want to that would be simple text transform colon uppercase and that's it that should do it let's save our changes now and see the difference refresh our page and there we go we've got a sort of button type thing it's it's just a plain link it's not really a button but it'll act in the same way that takes our form fillers to a new page or wherever it is you want to take them with that link we seem to have lost our title up there let's go back and see make sure the labels not hidden no, it doesn't say anything there we've got no conditional logic well we can simply add a title above this if we want to not quite sure why that title's disappeared there let's have a look so just before our link we can say I guess we'll make it h6 h is for a heading like h5 is the smallest I think h6 is actually the smallest h5 is pretty small and we need to close that out And let's just copy that bit of text right there. Save that. And there we go. We've got a title back in there now. Like I said, I'm not quite sure why that uh, title disappeared there. But there it is. We've got a title. We've got a button if you wanted to add a bit more space there you could simply put style in your h5 here and we'll just give it a bit of padding on the bottom padding bottom let's say give it 20 pixels like I say I'm doing this rather quickly not putting too much thought into it save that now let's take a look there we go, it's giving it a little, little more breathing space there. So there you are, there's how to use your HTML to add a little section to your form. You can put pretty much anything in there that you want and it's a really useful feature. So like I say, WordPress Forms, it's really easy to use, very impressed. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, share, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.